Pauline from PRM Taiwan. For today's episode, we are talking about Bangladesh culture and tips on operating markets. And this is Cecilia. Hi, I'm Cecilia. I'm a marketing specialist in PRM Taiwan. And today I'll be sharing some interesting topics from Bangladesh while I was at IPF Bangladesh Plastic Packaging and Printing Industry Fair. Okay, thank you, Cecilia. And I heard that Bangladesh has a lot of people. Do you feel the same as well? Well, when I landed there, I immediately felt it. And I even did some research before and learned that Bangladesh population has over 170 million people and their population density ranks 8th in the world. Wow, that's a lot of people, considering it's just 92nd largest area in the world. Yes. And their traffic jam was on a whole other level. There were cars, bicycles, motorcycles, tutu cars, and animals, people, all on the same road. So it took us nearly two to three times for us to commute. Wow, do they have landlines to keep them in line? Well, from my experience, only the big roads have lines and traffic lights. As for the small roads, they'll just honk to pass through. Oh, so you'll hear a lot of honkings? Yes, every two to three seconds is a honk. At first, I couldn't get used to it, but for the rest of the day, it was normal for me. And also, Bangladesh don't use Arabic numerals. They have their own numbers, so at first we had some trouble calling an Uber because we couldn't check the car plate. Wow, it's hard to imagine because in Taiwan, we only honk if we are going to get hit or there's somebody in front of you that doesn't move it, right? Yes. Oh, so did you have the chance to take to two car? Yes, it was very bumpy and also dangerous as well. But it was quite an interesting experience. Wow, it sounds amazing. And I'm also curious about how about its dishes. What is it taste like? Because Bangladesh is just beside India, so their food is quite similar. We ate nuns with curry and also their rice is thin like Thailand's and I think curry is the most delicious food and what I miss the most. So how's the price level there? Honestly, it isn't that expensive. Pretty much all of the food there is affordable. But if you go to restaurants, the price will be three times more expensive than what you can buy at supermarkets. Oh, I think it's the same around the world. The price in the restaurant is usually higher. Yes, but their food is really delicious. I really recommend it. Thank you for sharing the food culture. And I want to know more about their business. I know you have interviewed their chairman of BPG MEA, Mr. Shemin, and also interview manufacturers from Taiwan in the exhibition. Can you share some insight with us? During the interview with Mr. Shemin, he mentioned that the industry fair didn't stop growing because of the pandemic. In fact, they had a growth rate around 20 to 30 percent. And we can even anticipate next year's industry fair. There will be more exhibitors and visitors as well. Bangladesh is grown more than we expected and is now continuing to develop rapidly. Can you share some observations from Taiwanese manufacturers with us? Yes, we have gathered some information from our manufacturers during the exhibition. One of the manufacturers has shared that not only selling the machine is important, but the after service and maintenance are crucial as well. Another manufacturer has shared that the Bengali preferred Taiwanese machineries more. They won't compare the price as much as other countries. In fact, during the exhibitions, many buyers have come to our booth just because we are from Taiwan. We have even taken a lot of selfies with them as well. Wow, I didn't know that Bengali likes Taiwan this much. Yes, and we also had a manufacturer that was kind of doing a meet and greet for fans. What do you mean? 
Well, because she was posting on Facebook announcing that she was going to attend the exhibition, and many fans came to the exhibition just because of her and took many pictures with her. That's amazing. Bengali seems to be very friendly. Can you share with our audiences what your experience during the show? Of course. I have met quite a few buyers that are planning to start up their own company, and they don't know that much about the industry. So that is why they came to the exhibition to get more information. Wow, come to PRM's booth can be really helpful because they can know more about information about the machine in different fields at once. Yes, a lot of buyers told us that what we were doing is really helpful and convenient for them. Okay, thank you for taking your time sharing with your experience. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, PRN Media Channel, to find out more related videos.